Trish and I'm not Trish. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode. In the mortuary with Are You Don't Know? Yeah. I just thought I'd add that, but that really threw me, didn't it? It did throw yeah. me there for a minute. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, hi guys. How hi, are you? Hi, hi. <laughs> We're just doing a quick, quick, quickie, quick, quick, aren't we? Yeah, but it's are never we? quick. Yeah, it's usually quick. Uh, sometimes. Mm. What are you up to today? Anyway, a quick one. I yes. think last time we did chemicals or embalming chemicals, and this time we're just doing a quickie quickie of uh, chemicals I use on the outside. So that would be used by a mortician? Yeah, morticians on yeah. the as well. General prep. Yeah, yeah, general preps where this, you know, we've got a bit going on more than just little Betty dying in a nursing home, there's injuries, there's all kinds of stuff. So let me start with, I'm just going to show you a few of them. So you know when I have talked about before when we have um, when we've done a head post for instance uh, and we've taken you know we've taken the calvarium off and we we've got the empty cavity cavity inside and we're clean you're very good and we've cleaned it all out and we've cleaned it all out and we've dried it all out with cordurant okay on a cotton so we've dried it all out mm -hmm. okay. And then what I'm going to do before I fill um, the cavity with um, cotton, before I put the uh, cap back on to put the calvarium clamps on and clamp it all together, is we're going to use this stuff here, which is called absorb it. Absorb it. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that. Gee, Trace, what does that do? Hmm. She's so used to using these chemicals that I she forgets so that the names so are hilarious. Uh, absorb it. Forget what they are. Okay, so, so absorb it. We'll so, absorb it. Oh, it's powdery stuff. So it's oh. a powder. So can you see on there? Yes. Yeah. Is it like it looks like nutritional yeast? Yeah, it's a powder. Hmm. Oh it smells. <laughs> oh pungent. <laughs> right. So as the name suggests. As the name suggests, we'll Put this on inside and this will absorb any liquids inside. Inside, so inside the head post. Yeah, going just in case there's any more down into where the spinal cord is. Yeah, yeah, down in the spinal cord. So once we've used the cordurant, we've dried it out. Sometimes it could be a bit leakage still, so the powder will absorb it. Right. So that's what And is this the powder you put elsewhere as well? I also use the powder inside the cavity after um, an autopsy embalm. Right. Well, dry all the cavity out before putting the viscera back and put all that powder all over inside the cavity too. Mm -hmm. Anything that's got a wound that we've dried out with courtroom we'll put powder in as well. So we use that for absorbing fluids basically. Mm -hmm. That's what that one is. If we've got the wound before we put yep. anything in, or say we've got a wound, uh, some, there's a there's gash, a, there's a gash, gash in somebody's arm and it's starting to decompose and it's we've been we've dried it out with the quarter and we've cleaned it we've um we, we've dried it and then before we put a bandage on we're going to put a pack on it and we're going to put it this this is called sunny gel right okay Quite this self-explanatory again is <gasps> quite strong it's very pink looks like hair gel <laughs> excuse me <laughs> looks like hair gel but it's Oh, actually, you can't smell much today, but it's an embalming chemical. Can't smell a thing. So if you can see that, it's a bit jelly wobbly, bit wobbly, jelly, cool. jelly. What, what I'm going to do with this is is put it onto some cotton. Yeah. Get it out. Put it in the wound. Leave it in that wound. Yeah. Because it's also an embalming chemical. Okay. Okay. So what that's going to do is preserve that wound and stop it from decomposing. Right. And then we would bandage it up. So you don't wipe it off. You no, leave it on. It stays on. Right, cool. We put cling wrap round yes. as well, so there's no leakage of that fluid coming yes. out because it's a gel, but it'll still leak. And then we'll put the bandage on. So we'll put it. If it's on the arms, we'll put this kind of bandage. Just a crepe bandage. Yeah, yep. but it's a special one because it's skin Stick. coloured okay, yeah. and it's self sticky as well. Sticky, so sticky. Yep. That's the. It's basically to make it look nicer, so for it, yeah. it, it's, that it's, that aesthetics. Work, that word, that you said. Like, aesthetics. Yeah, it's for that to make it look better than putting a crepe white bandage. Oh, right, cool. Yep. So that's what that chemical is. 
So you know when we got our head post open and we've done the quarter and we've done that? Yes. Okay. We better point to the video on head post so people can catch up if they haven't seen it. Okay. Yep. Oh, when we put the uh, Calvarian clamps on and we yep. put the, uh, everything's back together, we've still got a bit of a gap. We've got a little gap. This is the stuff you put on Calvin's head. It was. This is called inner seal. Okay. So, it looks like putty, doesn't it? Yeah. Inner seal. Sounds like something you'd fix your bike tire on. Yeah. So it's quite soft and pliable. Right. Yeah. It's like so clay. It is like clay. Yeah. So that goes into the, the basically the seam that's yep. been cut open when the uh, pathologists have cut open the head to, to do the autopsy on the head. Yeah. And that seals all the way around and will spread it out so it's all nice and sealed to stop any liquids coming out before we pull uh, the face back open and the head back together and seal that in. That's what that one right. is. Okay. That's that one. This one is called Kaelin Stay Cream. Stay Cream. It's used for lots of different things, this one. Right. Is that the one you put down the throat, not the nose? No, no. What we do with this one mm. is very very sticky this one mm. right really 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 sticky yeah okay. yeah so another thing after a head post you can do also is sometimes this leakage comes out of the ears so you can plug the ears with this and you can't see it because right. it goes clear yeah. it's like it's like skin colored so you can't yeah. really see it yeah and it's clear so it stops any leakage or anything that comes out also you can put it on the eye caps It'll keep the eyes glued together, right? Because it's so sticky. Yeah. But it's not glue in it. It's just it holds. It. it just holds it really well. Mm. So it's anything where you want to seal anything. It's a bit like the inner seal, but it's a, a really sticky one for mm. you know eye caps, sealing up the uh, ears, or any other kind of wound that you want to seal. It's a, when we do reconstruction, we'll use it a lot okay. in side wounds to smooth it out. It's, uh, to cover them before you put the putty on and the clay and all of that kind of stuff. So much so, involved. So that's what that chemical is. Wow, that's, that's it. it. That's it for them ones. I that's thought I'd just give you a little overview of them. Little yeah, interesting. Say what they're all about. So wow. Yeah. Yay. So if you were to put some water in this little bowl and absorb it, it looks like when I, because I don't <laughs> use eggs in my cookie because I'm vegan, so I use um, ground flax. And I'll make what's called a flax egg. You add water to a substance that looks like this ground flax. Yeah. And it makes a globally little mixture that you then substitute as egg in your recipe. It's going to turn into like a cooking show. Oh, it absorbed it straight away. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, that little patch of water that Tracy's put in there. It's, it's, so it's, it's that little bit that's stuck to the middle or the bottom. It's, it's not going anywhere now. So, and that's good. And that's the whole, that's the whole process. It just wants to stop that liquid coming out. So yeah. it'll absorb it. And cool. Stop it going Interesting. Anyway. So it's all I like your little cool. bowls too. Yeah. That'd be cool little rice bowls. Do you know where I got them from? Two dollar shop. No. Where? Our favorite shop. <gasps> Ikea. 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 For Ikea. your mortuary. I usually put my little shaving kit in here when I do my shower. <laughs> oh, do you? There you go. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tracy. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. If anyone's got any questions on any yeah. of that, yeah. we'd love to hear from you. Yep. Yeah, Again, do. a lot of the stuff Trace does day to day, she doesn't actually realise that we don't know about it because it's just second nature now to yeah. her. Yeah. So you have to ask the questions. Um, yes. So yeah, that's cool. I'm a bit lightheaded. I'm oh, feeling a bit woozy. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Just being in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. We'll see Take you later. Care. We'll answer your questions again soon. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Okay. I thought that said kelp. I was going to say, oh, yeah, kelp. Kelp. Oh. Okay. Hi. Oh, that's your job. <laughs> Come on. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. What? Just, just let's go. I'm a bit caught in down where the, um, down no, into the forum. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on,